So odd audio issues aside, I guess we're about ready to proceed with the game itself. The true antagonist of the game is Windows, I figured it out. I don't know, I've never seen it, like, uh... I had the Windows sounds, but no other application audio was working. I've never had that happen before on any computer for any reason. That was very weird. So I, I just had to restart the computer. But welcome, Murphy. Welcome, Imperameter. Welcome, RJ Chaos. So, uh, we were guessing what the game was about uh, towards the end of the stream. So, I guess to take it one step further, we know there was a kidnapping in the park. We're assuming it's the main antagonist. I'm wondering if uh, Cabanella... I almost called him Cabanera again. Or is it Cabanera? Damn, I don't remember. I wonder if he had something to do with the reason he was taking hostages, and that's why it's like an extended revenge tale, because that would draw him back into the case. We didn't talk about it, so I don't know what the original crime of the antagonist was. I imagine since it has to deal with state secrets, he either worked in like a government office before, or is literally accused of espionage as a spy or something like that. And what well, technically both could be true, I guess. So I'm definitely curious where they're looking to go from there. I think we're about ready to hop into the game this time. Pause the music. Yeah, not too many chapters left. I think we'll make a lot of progress today. 10.55 p.m., five minutes before the execution. As we found out earlier. Went to try and rescue prisoner D99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere. But this time, there's something even stranger about it. Welcome, DevG. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. Uh-huh. Welcome, Chris. But even I can sense the strong feeling of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? No, it's 10.55. You're not too late. So, how's it going? With the generator? In the basement? They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore. Dun dun dun. Did he do the great escape through the toilet? You promised not to talk about that! I think it makes more sense, Chris, if you realize that if we put ourselves in the shoes of the current protagonist, if we were owned by the villain, they probably would have seen what the villain was doing and heard the word before. Suddenly that makes sense. I don't think there's a contradiction there. Look, would you knock it off with the weird flipping and flopping around? Can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I might just have to pound you. This, this is a glorious dance that's been passed down in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. Then wouldn't the villain have executed someone before? Ready for dirty dancing? I mean, he probably got, or he, he's been trying to kill people. I think we're undoing what he's doing. The Armstrong family dance. We call it the panic dance. I'm assuming that's a Full Metal Alchemist reference, but I honestly don't remember. Oh, look, look at how dark the death chamber is, by the way, chat. This is the special detention calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. Pitch back down here, though, until they get that generator going again. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh boy, we can't let the existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoner somehow. Is Bailey dancing? Yup, you should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. 
Once the generator's back up, I'll record it with the security camera. There we go. Alright. So before we continue with the dialogue, I'm wondering if... Ooh, you know what, chat? We didn't talk about this earlier, but remember how... Ugh, I always forget if it's Cabanera or Cabanella. The, the white-suited detective. I wonder if because he was suspicious of the doctor with the very obvious blue skin and is a bad guy, I wonder if he made the villain's body go somewhere where they weren't expecting. And that's why... <laughs> Casablanca, pretty much. <clears throat> and that's why he didn't show up to the meeting. Because his body wasn't where he was expecting, so he couldn't go to the chicken kitchen earlier. I wonder if that's what happened. I didn't really think about it until just now, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened, now that I think about it. It sounds right when I say it out loud. Generator is still not up. I can't keep this up much longer. That is quite a dance. Believe me, nobody's asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead then? Uh, at, at some point, I just expected to turn into Bayonetta. That's where I feel like it's going. Me? You're kidding me. Somebody has to do it! If that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop! Despite how it looks, the situation seems pretty serious. Bailey's dancing is, uh, certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. Man said he was calling from the death chamber, huh? I'd have the extension number. I should check it out. Oh, uh, I can't reach anything in here. Alright. The, the cla- Oh, that's not what I want to do. I got baited. Oh, I should have hit back there, actually. What happens if we just choose not to advance the plot? <laughs> Can we just go back to the junkyard real quick? Gotta check every chapter, chat. Fancy meeting you here. How goes it with your quest? Somehow, I find myself roped into saving the life of a death row prisoner now. This prisoner apparently knows me. I don't know if saving him is the right thing to do or the wrong thing. Here, let me share something with you. What's that? You don't know whether something is right or wrong. Go with what you believe deep down. You'll find out in the end if you're right. Remember that. It's kind of turning into a lecture series. You get old like me. You start wanting to show off your wisdom. Hmm. Presumably can't go here. So we still don't know what's happening with Missile, but I, I'm assuming we'll see Missile within, like, two chapters. We gotta get out of the prison first. Once once we go back to the girls, we'll probably uh, get an upgrade there. I'm also surprised we haven't had to like drop any mice on her or anything. So we know that Lynn should be arriving here at some point. Hmm. Is that door always open? Hmm. Let's see, any updates here? The entrance to nearly deserted dimly lit park. Doesn't look like Detective Ringe will be coming back. Our best guess is, he's out looking for the little lady. Alright, so you know at some point we're gonna do something in the park. We're probably gonna go back to the place where she was kidnapped and she'll somehow die there, because of course. So maybe we'll deal with the prison, then we'll go to the park, then question mark, question mark, question mark, final boss area. Alright, so that guy still isn't saying anything, which is disappointing. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any bonus dialogue so far, which is a little disappointing. 
I was hoping we'd have more commentary coming here. Do only have a few places left to double check on. Just to see if there's bonus plot. The chicken kitchen. Guess the little lady hasn't turned up yet. Yeah, Camel is still not here. I think I must have gone to look for her. Oh, unless Campbell is going to be the one that dies in the park. I guess that would also make sense. Gotta give Lynn a break. She's she's getting a, she's racking up those uh ridiculous death counts. Actually, question mark. What happens if I do this? Uh, if I ring this and nobody's here, what happens? Oh, she left. I was curious if I could confuse her. It's worth a shot. Alright, we're about to continue with plot in a moment. Sadly, we only got that one bonus dialogue. Chief is wiggling his itchy toes with a troubled look on his face. The Chief here. Of course I'm working. I'm right here at headquarters. You got it all wrong. You're just being silly now. Yeah, I love you too, honey. Hmm. Guess he's radioing his wife. Sounds like a complicated relationship. I also refer to myself as the Chief. <laughs> I'm talking to people <laughs> of whom I'm related. Uh, I need dialogue with her. Feels like we should get something. Just as before, the delicious aroma of the chicken fills the air. La la la, the lovely maiden memory, goddess of chicken. But this song, chef. I don't know why myself, but tonight I feel like singing to you as much as you like until you've had your fill. Oh yeah? Well, if you're gonna sing about me being a goddess, I guess I don't mind. It's all it takes, huh? Any more dialogue between them? Nope. Worth a shot. Anyway, I guess we'll go in there. We'll probably get rejected for trying to go to the internal ones, because the game explicitly told me. But I'm curious if the game will yell at me if I try it anyway. Doesn't anybody understand how this feels? Oh, hey, we got a bonus scene here. To dance in the dark with nobody watching. Well, there's one thing you don't have to worry about. What's that? Even if the lights come back on, the nobody watching part ain't gonna change. What did you say to me? That does it. Now you've made me all the more determined to dance. Look at him go, chat. They had a lot of fun animating. You could tell. Look at him go. Uh, it'll probably tell me it doesn't work, but I'm curious what he says if I try this. Oh. I, did. I thought they said the internal lines were down. Oh, good thing I checked, I guess. Wow, I wonder what in the world happened here. Go look for Detective Joe. Should I try to do something about this situation first? Well, we found one of the prisoners. So I guess they didn't complete their tunnel. So what did happen here then? I thought it was just because they escaped and they tripped something. Unless the villain is now after them. But why would the villain want to stay the execution? I thought that was his whole goal was to kill Dude. Alright, let's go to special detention and actually advance the plot. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I feel like a ghost is going to show up any minute now. Hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. You, I never saw that one coming, did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator's gonna be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. Wait, who died then? Generator, huh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. Seems the first thing that has to be done. This darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. Use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Aw, oh, well, let me go to the left. That sucks. 
What's going on over here? Oh jeez, where'd that wrench go? Doubt it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. Sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. We're like a ghost. Hmm. That's rather on the nose. We're like a ghost cat, exactly. There we go. Do you have any comments about the prisoner? The guy seems to be taking a nap here. Not my poultry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. Hmm. Kinda spooky when a ghost says it. It's interesting that we can go up here if we want to. This guy's looking for the wrench. We can't turn on the light. We can manipulate the power supply. There seems to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to really tell, though. It's the first thing I need to do is restore the generator. I've seen these things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. Chat. Hmm. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn, it's too heavy. It won't budge. Okay. Do I need to flick this lever? Hmm. Oh, we gotta ride the water drop down? Is that what's happening? Open the toolbox. Oh, hey, there it is. So if a water drop falls down and it evaporates, do we die for real? There, done. <laughs> right, Jack? Because we have nothing to inhabit. Trick time. Now the lights are back on. What happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. Better see if I can pick up some more information. Can't seem to shake this bad feeling that I got. I had a feeling it. I was gonna say. I had a feeling it wants us to do this. So I could still manipulate this. What happens if I do this? Lance came on. Not sure what it means, though. Maybe that changed the situation, though. Oh, I guess I'm solving problems, and I'm not. I'm not even sure why. So imagine how I flick the lever, right? Oh, I meant. Oh, I didn't see there was dialogue. That sucks. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country is the death penalty. How many years has it been since we used the chair? Yeah, I don't know. I had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. But that's what happened. All that debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was a divine retribution. Don't be stupid. Prisoner wanted to be executed, you know. Oh, there we go. Now we get a reference to the body. Inspector Jode. Guess I was too late. When are they going to pick up his body? I'll be singing over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. We hand over the body and clean up the mortuary. We're done. Yeah, okay. The Detective Jode has already been executed. Looks like there's a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. That's okay. This isn't a big problem for me. The body's taken for the mortuary. That'll be bad. Use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. The chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's going to blow up again? I let loose with the juice. Yikes, yeah, shut up, man. Access can happen with anything after all. Let's just get this thing fixed. Come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm going to come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why? Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm. Yeah, that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? I'm just going to activate it again. There we go. Now I can get onto his wrench. 
I just got a shock. So I think I basically turned on power to the chair and I'm hitting the switch needed to get further. Uh, I might have messed up depending on what he's doing here. It's so annoying. Let's open the toolbox. Do I have to do another catch the thing while it falls? There we go. Son of a... Right, we, made, we made our journey. We can rock the cart. Ooh, all this to get to a phone. Same thing here. Looks like there's just an internal phone, too. It doesn't call outside. The only pieces it could go with this telephone are other phones within the building I've already possessed. I'm gonna do one thing before we go further. I wanna see if we can update Ray on the situation. And I also wanna see if these guys have a dialogue. This panic dance that has been passed down in our family for generations. There's just one problem with it. Hey, quit acting so bored and ask me. Ask me, what's the problem, Bailey? Yeah, yeah, what's the problem, Bailey? The problem is, it's hard to know when to stop. Hey, quit acting so bored and pay attention. Guess it's hard for you to know when to stop talking, too. Damn, he got burned. I want to check one, just one thing this time. Specifically the junkyard to see if they say anything. Curious that the game would program more dialogue if I go back here again. Leaning towards no. Alright, let's go back then. Well. Did his electrocution really... They, they did it early, so that something tells me it wasn't quite an electrocution that killed them, but it could still involve the chair. Uh, oops. Look internal first. Do we have anything to say now that we're done through here? Time, time here still appears to be like a caged animal. The only difference is I don't see any of the inmates. Of course, our death row inmate isn't here either. Did the curry lover ever find his curry? My time will soon be locked away from me as well. Can't waste what I have left. I better get going. There we go. There's the game getting mad at me. Anyway, let's go to the mortuary and see what we could do. Well, time to undo things. Hey, can you hear me? Dot 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 chat. Where am I? It's the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jode. Detective Jode. Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll have to give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash. Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? Things I don't need are just trash. Not to me, I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn I'd try to stop your execution. Lynn? Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits of pieces of garbage left lying around. Ooh, that's his character theme. I remember now. About Lin. J. 
Jode and the execution. What about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel, looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel? Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry, must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's all right. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. Rewind time, chat. Ten forty-six. This is the past. Four minutes before my death. That's right, you'll get to see your own execution. And we're gonna change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she? About what I did? Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. But Lynn believes it is. He dot dot dots. Okay, let's get started. Clogged his toilet. I'm in position. Goofy walks, chat. Look at him go. So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah, wonder how many years it's been. The last time, you weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution. But you know, I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. Hmm. There's definitely something up with that, indeed. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, all right. Oh, there we go, the angled walk. Prisoner D99, it's time. L let's go. All right, man, I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through this unpleasant experience. What? No, we are... Uh... Oh, well. This is all about collecting experiences. For you and for me. Oh, they did kill him early. What about 11 o'clock? Prepare to test- or unless the test did it. That would make more sense. Oh, that makes more sense, because I was like, they did it way too early. This is an execution, huh? Seems to me there's got to be a safer way to do it. <laughs> Must be nice to have no memory like that. Makes things more interesting. I envy you, I really do. No laughing matter to me. That was an example of a failed execution. Although the outcome was the same. Failed? I haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs. I guess it had a short. I guess that means I could stop the explosion. Hmm, I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned. I'd still wind up just as dead. Dot dot dot. So what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. <laughs> you, the player, must puzzle it out. He's not making this easy. Okay. So I can't fix the chair, but I can't have it go off early either. Hmm. What will that involve doing? Let's see what hints we get here. All right then, four minutes from now. The chair will short out and explode and you'll die. I imagine we got to turn off the main power to it. But then I don't know what to do from there. Or maybe we have to sabotage the generator somehow? 
Very sad. I stopped the explosion. You'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry, I was ever bored. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. You, the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Oh, uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? Ha <laughs> ha Hmm. How's it going down there? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. Uh, I see. It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. But 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 that chair has been used in a long time. W what if? Bailey, there's nothing we could do now. It's time. Bailey dot dot dots. All right, I'll send the guards to his cell. Have them call when they get into position. Um. We're pretty early in the chain. What do you think, chat? Should we go there or stay here? I'll let chat decide on this one. I don't have an opinion either way. I mean, we need to leave the mortuary, so... Presumably this guard will walk out at some point if we stay here. But if we go with Bailey, we might get additional conversations. I'm imagining stay here is probably the right answer, but I'm not sure. It could be like we have to zip to Bailey and then go to another phone. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's do stay here. Or is he just gonna stand around and not do anything? Is he not gonna leave? Oh wait, we can't jump into his keys either? Oh, I should've double checked that. Oh, another phone call. Interesting. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it. Oh, multiple choice. So they're about to bring the prisoner. Do we go with the prisoner or stay here again? It's definitely the more involved of the ghost tricks so far. <laughs> yeah, maybe stay again. Worst thing that happens is we get extra dialogue. And let's see, what do we do now? Well, you're not gonna accomplish anything hanging around here. You're right. Hmm. Maybe I can't accomplish anything from here. Maybe I should have moved during one of those two phone calls. Maybe you should have, Sissel. Zip it, D99. Alright, so the game is telling me I basically game over, which is fine. Alright, so we got bonus dialogue. So presumably we have to go with the prisoner. If that's the case. What we're gonna do is... We're actually gonna go to Bailey just to get more conversations. And then we'll go forward, because it's possible we might learn something from Bailey that we need for later. Yeah, let's go there this time. So knowing that there's a second phone call is important, because I think that's what we need to win. This strange feeling of uneasiness. How about you? How do you feel? Dot, dot, dot. I feel jumpy and jittery. I can't sit still. I feel like I might start dancing at any minute you're gonna dance let me know get the video camera ready nobody will listen to my concerns concerns huh so he's worried the man is always worried about something whatever he's worried about it always comes true without fail listen to me that chair is dangerous I know Bailey that's why I don't advise you to sit on it no, 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 that's not what I mean. Machines like that are very sensitive to dust. The guy throws the switch and the chair shorts out. There might be a huge explosion down there in that death chamber. Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen. Besides, even though on the off chance it does blow up, we're way up here. We'll be fine. I know. Why don't we go and test it out first? 
No way. Nobody get blown up. You go by yourself. The spot would be safe even if it does blow up, huh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. The switch in the death chamber is thrown. The chair will blow up. That's right. The chair blows up. The execution can't be carried out. It only stands to reason. And there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes. Nobody will die. Precisely. Very nice, Sissel. Hit upon some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. Alright, so I think this is telling us how to proceed. Let's go this way for now. Okay, so we're gonna ignore the first phone call. So presumably we have to deal with the note, right? We saw the note didn't go to the intended target. So I imagine if we uncrumple the note, we'll be able to go with the prisoner. He'll see it there. Then he'll get an all clear potentially, or we could potentially jump from him back downwards. Cause we know that once he's in the tunnel, the curry lover, it's close enough we could get to the generator. So I think it's all about manipulating him, I think is our end goal. I do dislike that you can't just skip this dialogue. I definitely feel like that's something that they could have implemented and would have made it a little better. I'm okay with this not having checkpoints since the dialogue is so early. It's just unfortunate that you still have to wait and do these things. Like, you should be able to advance time with, like, a button down here, for example. Okay, so let's now jump there. So we'll be able to take that note for a ride to go to the other prisoner. That is definitely our goal. Well, before I do that... Bonus dialogue. There, we escaped from the death chamber. Good for you. It was stuffy in there, wasn't it? Not exactly what I was worried about. All right, what now? Hmm. Stop the execution and save your life. I think I'm getting an idea. You are, are you? I'd be very interested to hear it. Let's just get down there, fast. Oh, can we read the board now that we have him? Small detour. This is the blackboard that has this prisoner's schedule for tomorrow written on it. Can't read it, but that's okay. I don't need to. What a surprise. You've forgotten how to read, too. Apparently. Can you read it? I can, but like you said, there's no need to. Damn. Oh, boy. Damn, it's totally clogged up. The big guy gets caught. There goes all my plans down the drain, too. Come on, flush, damn it. Hmm. Apparently he's trying to flush. Wadded a piece of paper. Oh, by the way, I'm sure you already realized. Youth in the cell is in cahoots with the big man in the cell downstairs. The big man downstairs seems to be digging a tunnel. Yes, trying to escape. They are. But they're both very naive. He can keep digging, but he's gonna hit a steel wall eventually. It's pretty tragic. The two of them have a communic- Oh wow, the game is the game is really literally explaining to us what to do. Wow, chat. Well, I mean, like, I already figured it out before we did this, but yeah, they really want you to remember. <laughs> the two of them have a communication system set up using the toilets. The Qatar youth is warning his partner of the guard's movements. Paper with O means all clear. X means danger. Okay, yeah. The curry guy sees an O. He goes down to dig the tunnel. Hmm. Maybe they can use that somehow. Anyway, let's actually progress with the plot. Alright! My gem grooved out the clog! Now get down there to Sausage Head! Hmm. 
The present world, four minutes into the future. Sausage Head was lying passed out in the tunnel. Unknowing about the execution, he must have kept digging and digging. The guards had noticed he was gone. So I guess Curry Man's future has now changed a bit. There we go. Good checkpoint. Sizzle. Sure you know this, but time is ticking. It's time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon. It's going to get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going to for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. Alright, so we need to leave the wastebasket. I'll examine the blackboard for subplot, I guess. It's no use! No matter how many times I try, I still can't read what it says. This blackboard is different from the one in Prisoner D99 cell. I feel something is written on this one. But my test wasn't to find out what this particular board says. I guess we'll never know the task of the quote-unquote majestic creature. Alright, so let's just ring the bell, because that'll cause them to move the spoon. Too early. So I want him to put the spoon back, because then I could get into Dowd's jail cell. I'm not sure what to do from there, but I'm pretty sure this is what it needs me to do. It's going to be something convoluted. So remember he threw something away last time? I imagine we have to somehow now make a circle with whatever is in this guy's jail cell. Yeah, see this napkin? It looks like the paper that goes through. The question is, what do I do? What else is in this room? There's a waste basket. Hmm. I feel comment about his own newspapers. I need to think about this. It's the newspaper article about your case. Yeah, I tacked it up there as a memento. I'm assuming that's a tomato can? Looking at what's on the trash can? So maybe I have to time the trash can to hit something? I can't read it, but it probably says something like, Man murders wife. Phew, you sure could pack it all away. The detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's what I always say. <clears throat> you have a young pupil that follows that advice to the letter. What are you going to do now, Sissel? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. Looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. So I think... I have to time this to launch the can? Is that what it wants me to do? He does get up at some point. This is where a fast forward would be useful. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Did you see that? The huge can just went flying up into the air. Yeah, that's my ketchup can. Ketchup? Just love ketchup. I can't get enough of that stuff. Probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm. Just can't seem to muster a laugh over that one. But it did make a kind of red O mark. Alright, so now we just gotta ride the napkin back. He's gonna see his can is full. Now we just gotta reach the spoon again. Then we should be good. Okay, this puzzle wasn't too bad. We definitely need to get to the spoon. He's got a hoist to spec up.
I'm glad it tells me what the object is below, because otherwise I wouldn't be sure where I was. Sausage Head sure looks happy. Now that he's seen the O, oh, he'll go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. Alright, so I should be with a spoon already. I'll just double check. Indeed, okay, good. comes my escorts. Uh-oh, I haven't found my path yet. I see mine quite clearly. Out to the chair, that is. What do I do? I mean, what do I do? I'm doing fine. Like, just a little too far. There we go. Okay, I like this a lot more than the other puzzle. I'm not gonna lie. This, this was definitely a much better put together puzzle. The previous one involving the stupid rotating of the chicken with the timing of the drops was kind of terrible. Especially since there was like not really proper checkpointing, which made it more annoying. What just happened? Power's down throughout the whole facility. No way. If the power's down, that means all the cell bars open automatically. Damn it, the internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can't be carried out and your life is saved. Fate averted. You're a pretty daring guy. Really enjoyed myself. I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? Nope, it's true. A little drawback to the system. The entire facility blacks out. The locks are released for the prisoner's safety. Nobody thought it would actually ever happen. So in other words, now's the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. Uh-oh, chat. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon? Huh? You'll see when we get back, Sissel. Skip that little animation. Now the execution can't be carried out, and Detective Jode is safe for the moment. A new president has been born. However, Jode still isn't safe from execution, of course. Guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. I guess that makes sense. So we're very close to the end of the game then. We haven't seen Missile again. Chapter 9, 11, 13 p.m. Now I'm, now I'm back in the present. It's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. The power failure. All the cell bars open automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the dark. I did what I promised, Lynn. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now just as, in just as much danger as before. Oh, we can't do anything over there. Except for the spoon, huh? Detective told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present. So here I am. Go back, chat. There we go. You like him going backwards? He just like splits up. Oh, I'm sure Lynn has died again for sure. Phew, I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was good timing. I used the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. First, I have to find him. Oh wow, that's a that's a look for a character. Prisoner C-74, secure the prisoner! Hmm. Looks like they're hunters in this darkness. Hope they haven't found Detective Jode. This is some true darkness. But luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. Make use of that fact to help me find the detective. 
I just leave. I go to this phone. It's no use! The internal phone doesn't work. Guess I better find another route. Huh? What's that red light? Hmm. Looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. <laughs> That's always a good sign, right, chat? Interesting. Oh, there he is. Doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. How are we going to communicate with them? That's the real question I have. I'm assuming this is an escort mission, by the way, chat. So there you go. A puzzle escort mission. Oh, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. You the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. How'd you know how to... But how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. There certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. Though so quickly came up with an alternate route. Route that made use of sausage head spoon in my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. Escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. I imagine we have to ring something. I'm not sure how we're gonna move him. So presumably because he can't see, the gimmick is going to be I have to time his passage through the guards. So th this could take a little while, chat. I really doubt I'm going to first try this. So let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is th this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under the cover of darkness, huh? No, I won't have much trouble with that. I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Oh boy, chat, lead the way. Once you find a safe spot for me to move, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? That don't have voices. Even if they did, we'd have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that, I have an idea. Let's just try it and see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. They find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. I'm almost tempted to get a bad ending, but I have a feeling it'll happen regardless of whether I want it to or not. If I die again, we could just start over, right? Yep. Oh boy. He says cheerfully. Prison security. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here. Except for me, that is. The cat is out of the bag yet. I don't think it's going to confirm it until the final chapter, to be honest with you, Calvisha. Like, we, we have not gotten to our identity yet still in the game. I imagine they're going to save that for the big plot twist of the game, but oops. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not, pre they're not at all prepared for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. <laughs> this one is special. Night vision goggles? Very special indeed. The special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. I enter their field of vision. It's all over. That's all about staying out of the guards' line of sight, huh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Oh, he's definitely getting shot at least once. There is there is no way I'm doing this first try. I don't believe. No faith, chat. Faith over. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but... I can sense your powers now. You what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. Guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Huh. That doesn't sound right, somehow. 
Anyway, the details don't matter. You see this icon here? Yeah, where'd that come from? <laughs> there we go, chat. The fourth wall has been broken. Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? You touch the icon, I'll sense it. And I'll move to where you are. So for example... You move to the spoon and touch the icon. Run to the spoon. Simple, right? Oh boy, Chad, this is gonna be... This is gonna be real special. Hmm... <laughs> All right, fine. Start our escape plan. Let's make sure you guide me to safe spots. <laughs> listen, listen. You, there, there is a, there is a non-zero chance you are about to be shot up with it, like two guards. Oh boy. We'll take some advice from the game. That red light. It's the light of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. Use the light to let me know where the guard is. If you want to watch the light closely. You can tell the guard is moving too. Uh oh chat, we're going full Metal Gear now. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Uh huh. I gotta do something like this? Okay. Okay, we're making progress. Ooh, can't do anything in here? Wait, what do I do? So I have him here. Do you have any conversation he wants to say to me? Good, this is a safe spot. You did well, Sissel. But unfortunately, there aren't any more bunks. Guess you'll have to find another spot then. Could you do it as quickly as possible? This position is killing my back. There you go. This could be difficult. Oh boy. Um What do I do? Oh okay. I was wondering what to do. Okay, so we gotta hitch a ride on the best to go somewhere. Guards are on the move. Now what? You gotta sense how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. I think you already know this, but just in case. I'm gonna take a look around. You can slide the screen. If I recall correctly, I could do the de I could use the D-pad to do the same thing. Okay. But does he take me somewhere new? I reach that. Where does this guy go? so close to being able to do something there. So this guy just straight up has a sniper or something. Can I seriously not reach that? Annoying. Hmm. The area under the stairs is a blind spot for the guards. You won't find him here. The spot is safe. Hey, okay, before I move him, how do I deal with the other guy? I felt like I should have been able to reach that, but I can't. Like, okay, there we go. Uh. Okay. All right, chat. Uh. This just got more complicated. Now there's two guards patrolling. Okay, so where's the other guard? Did he go up the stairs or something? He did. I mostly just need to... Okay, so I think I understand what to do. So we stopped him from getting shot. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. If I didn't do that, I think he would have sniped the prisoner and just killed him outright. But now I wait here, but I can't use this right away, because he's going to turn around. Then the other guy fell down again, which is awkward. 
Why does he just keep falling through the floor? He's got night vision goggles on. Is he gonna fall down again? That's actually really annoying. I don't know if he will or not. Oh, I think I got busted. Maybe? Oh, come on, really? Was that like just a fraction too early? That sucks. Wow. I I almost had it. Look, he needed to take like two more steps. That sucks. It's no use. Their eyes are everywhere. I can't catch a break. You'll just have to make one. Try to find a way. How annoying. I don't even think I did anything wrong. I think I just got unlucky with the timing. I'll be real honest with you, chat. I'm pretty sure that was the solution. I just mistimed it. So stupid. All right, this is definitely gonna be my least favorite puzzle. I thought the kitchen stuff was bad, but... I gotta wa wait for this idiot to do whatever. Come on. What is he? Oh, I'm back at, oh, I'm back at the, oh no, I'm back at the first area? Oh, that's, oh no. Oh, this is so painful to have to redo this. I keep forgetting it's not the trick button I need to press. This is gonna take forever, chat. There better not be more than one guard after this, I swear. So as I said before, I don't think I did anything wrong. I wonder if the timing was just off. Like, did I have to get the guard on his way up the stairs? Was that the timing? Like, I got him on the way down. Like, do I have to do it on the way up I have to jump? Is that is that like all I did wrong? Like, if I do this? Wait, go there. Oh, maybe you can't jump until he's on his way back. May oh, that would make sense from a timing perspective. So they change his animation so that you could do that. Oh, yeah. This, okay, so they do want you to have some like leeway with it. So the question is, when do I open this hatch? Hmm. I wonder if this is the right timing. As I said before, I don't think I did anything like super wrong. I think I just had the timing wrong. Now both of them are going up the stairs. So this would have been my opportunity if I had somehow traversed I had waited just like a little bit longer. I think I could have zipped to him and then made the other guy run. Damn, I think it was a timing issue again. That is so annoying. I'm gonna, I don't know if I could go for it. He's really far up the stairs now. I'm not gonna go for it. Yeah, good call. If I was able to get there earlier, I would have been fine. The problem is that this guy's gonna be really out of sync with everything. I'm not gonna lie, this puzzle sucks. You have, there's so much waiting involved. And then I can't press it too early. They're so desynced. Man, this is what I was worried about. Damn, we had a much better timing the other time. They don't even resync or anything. This is brutal. So they both have to be going up the stairs at the same time, just for chat clarity. So I have to wait here. I don't think there's anything else I could do about this. All right, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Let's go. I swear if he gets caught there. I was gonna say, I swear if he gets caught, I'm gonna be so tilted. <laughs> I'm like, we're waiting forever for him to get in the right position. 
Um, how do I get past this guy, though? Hmm. This is such garbage. <laughs> I almost feel like save stating. I'm not gonna lie, chat. This is gonna take forever. Holy. So what is my goal here? I guess I have to... I guess I have to, like, call him... Oh, this is so annoying. I'm trying to think it through. Hmm... Like, where, where is our goal? Let's watch what he's doing now. So this guy's going to fall for some idiot idiotic reason. So if we close the hatch, we could move from here. But where's our... The problem is I can't... They also don't let me see ahead, which really sucks in a game with tight timings. I can't see what it wants me to do other than what we're doing currently. So... Do I let this guy fall? Like, what? what is my goal here? Hmm. So, like, we got to... We got him under the stairs, which, again, I would have loved a checkpoint there, by the way. Um... I don't understand what it wants me to do. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I, I have to time it somehow. I imagine... Like, can he... F <sighs> I... <laughs> this is the problem. We've not had to ever move somebody before, and now it's in a stealth section. So it's like, do I close the valve and hope that he gets through? Do I... Like, is this guy's gonna fall, right? I, I don't know what to do, Chad. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I don't know what it wants me to do. So he's gonna fall, and there's not much I could do about that. Hmm. Let's see if we can see where it wants us to go. Oh, we oh we can't. I'm so lost. What do what do we need to do? Like where where can he go? I don't see anything he could do here, unless he can somehow fit in this area. But everybody else is fallen is that what it is i have to close like the bottom one so he doesn't fall man chat this is very annoying to me well yeah we definitely found the worst puzzle so it's like i'm not even sure what it wants me to do so it's like, okay, the other the other guard on the stair will go away. So what do I do with this guard so I could get by him? Like, do I have to wait for him to fall? Like, I don't I don't know what the timing is at all. And I can't observe them easily because of the stupid darkness gimmick. So do I just I don't know what the timing is. Imagine I have to close it? So it's like I still can't do anything because this guard is looking this way, so it's more waiting no matter what I do. So I guess I could have called him up here if this guy wasn't here and then closed the valve. 
So again, this is more of a timing issue thing where they're so out of sync. Like there, I could have called I could have called him and then closed the valve. So me I have to wait for this idiot to go away, which really sucks. Man, this puzzle is booty chat. <laughs> can be real with you. Wait, can we just save mid mid attempt? Hmm. I agreed to cooperate with Lynn. I was apparently trying to make a deal with some people from overseas. Do we have any? Oh, we have more info. Let's do this while we think about it. Also suspect of my shooting. Oops. I don't mean to do that. Oh no, it got all weird. One second. Uh, what happened to my layout? One second. That's also kind of what? What is it doing? It got very tiny. There we go. It's almost back to normal. Something got triggered. Sorry, chat. It's also just loading very weirdly for some reason. Give me a second. I should be able to fix it. As long as it stops teleporting on my screen. No, it's like... Oh, sorry, chat. I did not mean to click that. That really messed up the size. It's like this happened or something. Let me try this. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's also the downside for a game that requires a lot of clicks. Inevitably, the click will do something that you don't want it to do. That's almost correct. Give me a second. Maybe it was this setting I had it at. I think that's right. It's like a little smaller than how I had it, but it's it's doable, I guess. Because the problem is like, oh man. This is so annoying to have happen mid playthrough. I think the problem is like now it seems to want to snap it and when it's snapping it's messed up. Yeah, it's like slightly too small on the game screen now, which is bothering me. A little better. Do something like this for now. Yeah, it's like I had it slightly bigger before, but it like snapped in, which is very annoying. So I have the window size set to 2.5, which is what I think I had it to. Like, there we go. I think that looks correct now. The other window is also a little small for some reason. I'll move this down a bit to compensate. A little unfortunate. I liked it the way it was before, but it, it will bother me. Okay, let's have the clicks not resize my window. I wish I could turn that off, by the way, but that does not seem to be an option. Uh, anything else to go through here? I apparently just clicked too many times. Hey, Miss Camilla, Lynn asked her to find a music box. She hasn't arrived yet. We know that. Yeah, I think when I went to click the arrow here, I double click the edge and that caused it to teleport. It's a bit unfortunate. The dialogue. Oh, we learned stuff from about uh, Faded Jailbird. His name is Joe. He's apparently good fa fans with Cabanella. Oh, there we go. Two, two bots, right? Back to back like that. Interesting. Apparently the other party in the deal was me, so not much is really updated here. Uh, let's give it a shot, I guess. So I think I would have had to have pressed it now, so I got distracted. So I would have been able to call him now, but I was too slow. Really bothers me. Now they're both facing the same way again, which is exactly what I don't want to have happen. I think this is my window of opportunity right here, because he's going to come down the stairs. And this guy is going to... Oh, no, I can't, because this guy's on the stairs. Wow, this is really annoying as a puzzle. I'm not going to lie. This is really annoying. I have to wait so long because they're so desynced. When are they going to sync up properly again? Like, I can't do it now because he's on the staircase. And I can't do it now because he's now looking this way, too. Wow, this puzzle sucks. 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, Chad. This is a solid F puzzle. Too many mechanics, way too many gimmicks. Not really a great way to reset any of them. Yeah, like I could choose to like close the hatch, I guess, to stop them from falling. To try to fix this. So I could try to time it a bit better so that when the other guy at least is here. Yeah, it's like there's just so much waiting. That like this puzzle alone is way longer than anything we've done already. Truly atrocious. So now this guy should step here, right? Now he's waiting. Oh, now he's gonna go on a full patrol? Oh, come on, what is this? Wait, now he patrols? He didn't do that before. Give me a break. That is so stupid. I know. This is so annoying. Well, now I have no idea how to keep them in sync if they both go on patrol mode at the same time. Because, like, I need to be able to... When he falls, like, when he's up here, I need to be able to get this... This guy can't be here, but because he is, I can't do anything. This is so stupid. Like, if this guy wasn't here, I would just make him go up, like, right now so that he would go up there. But the problem is, is, like, they're both there. So I need to... I mean, I could try to go for it. Nope, I can't do it because now he's looking there. Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. They're so desynced, I can't do anything. Like, literally can't do anything. Like, the other guy's always watching the other guy's back, which is the problem. So we're gonna wait. I delayed it as much as I can to try to resync them a little bit. I might be able to do it now. That might have synced them enough. So he's gotta go further left. The wrong button. Oh, he goes up so slow. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, that that's how he was Oh, screw you. Right, chat? Like, would it wouldn't that have been good information to know he was gonna climb that? I thought he was gonna go up the stairs. Game, please. Cut me a break on that one, chat. Cut me an actual break. Holy. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we presumably have to do this. And then get him over here. Wrong button again. Hopefully that doesn't cost me. Alright, so we should be out of line of sight. So presumably now... I have to maybe cut him off? Okay, I'm assuming this is going to be another timing thing. So, we need... I think we need the other guard to go left because I can't do anything without this other guard being here. We're going to wait for him to cross over. So, maybe that's why he started walking. Like, he waits here just in case he made a mistake. And now... I can open... Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, if I miss my opportunity. Okay, so now should be able to get to the other side of the cell. So I should be able to bring him here. God, there's still more. This is this is insane that there's still more to this puzzle, chat. This puzzle's taking so long. This is painful. Alright, so now we're going to. How is he gonna get over here? I guess he still stays within the vent, so we're going to wait for this idiot to fall. And we're going to proceed. Alright, so we've made progress. Wow, there is no checkpoint this entire time. This is this is terrible. Right, chat? This, this is actually terrible. There's no checkpoint still. Holy. 
what were they thinking with this puzzle? All right, so we could probably play the drum to distract him. Maybe that's what that other BS comment was to distract. It assumed I failed on this portion of the puzzle. Okay. Okay, so let's just hit the drum. Let's see what he does. That puts him on the trap door. Okay. Now I can open the trap door? Progress? Question mark? Like, that was less garbage. I think other guards just don't react to getting dumped on. Hmm. So I guess I just go through the vents here. The question is, where do I call him to? Do I call him to the hatch? Hopefully we don't have to make him physically go up to the next level, because I have no idea how to do that. I'm assuming I just do this. Hmm, that's a tough one. Anyway, I think you better open the hatch and create an exit point for me first. Take it out, the way things are now. Okay. The game at least explained that, I guess. So now... Open. Leave? I move now, I'm gonna fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? Oh my gosh, please get me out of here. <laughs> right, chat, please end this puzzle, I beg of you. This is going way too long. Oh my god, what could... Uh, I gotta call you again? Cut me a break. Just leave. There we go. So what do you think? I'd say if we come this far, we did it. Great job, Sissel. It's horrible. That That is a solid F puzzle, chat. The basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Wait, we were that close to being caught? Are you serious? Look how close he was. I almost game over there, chat. He was only like five steps from seeing me. Holy. I would have been so tilted if that got me. Phew, we just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. You better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. Don't anybody welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report into the justice minister. minister. Is that it? Hmm. I don't like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I better run. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, Cecil. Until we meet again. Now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Is that really the right thing to do? I guess all I could do is believe in Lin at this point. Detective Joe was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. LB shouldn't break it out the band hammer. Holy, this was terrible. Get me out of this chapter. Go to the... What happens if I go to the mortuary? What does the game even say if I do this? Did you hear? He escaped. Yeah, we're supposed to repair this thing by the time they catch him again. Ugh. I wonder why he escaped. I heard Detective Joe wanted the death penalty. Right. I'd like him to change his mind. Maybe on this final night of his, he just got a voice in his head or something. Maybe he told him to run. Are you talking about me? What kind of voice do you think it was? You know, something evil. Like a devil or a demon or something. 
Picture something with a pointy head, wearing sunglasses, something like that. They are talking about me. Can they see me? Alright, so we got bonus dialogue there. Looks like things are back to normal here. Like he's making that horrible noise, same as ever. Damn convict, Detective Joad is out. As is the curry lover, who's dreaming dreams of curry, same as ever. Time will soon be locked away from me. Yeah, he says this every time. Holy, get me out of this chapter, right? Cha like, chapter over. Chapter over. Get me out of here. The doctor chose until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. I got to the guard room. The next fateful call came in. Hello, this is... Sissel, are you there? Hello, who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. If you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait a minute. Race complete. Got a new phone number. That call, who was it from? I don't know, some weird call. Oh, but who? We'll call it into my dancing. Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest then, which will stop first. My dancing, or the turning of the planet. Yeah, good luck with that. Alright, what if I just... Okay, we definitely need to go to external line. What if I just go back to the park? Or not the park, the uh, junkyard. I think this guy's on the wrong line of work. I think so, too. Do we have any updates we want to have for our friend here? Alright, if this has no update, I'm not going to proceed further with checking them out. I feel like checking on Ray is a good indicator whether or not there's bonus dialogue. So let's save some time, I think. Right, let's just go to the new location. Welcome back, Dev G. The other end of the telephone line. The scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Oop, give me one second, chat. I'm gonna see if I can fix something. Just wanna make sure because it resized things if it's cutting something off or not. Oh, okay, so it's like about right. Just wanted to double check. Let's try again. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Uh oh, Tiat. That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Oh, no, 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 that's distracting. Shrink it slightly. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. When I looked up, my eyes were full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game. Here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. I wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now that I've found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. There's a certain something between these two. Is it a warm something, or is it cold? Whatever it is, it's immeasurably deep. 
I should probably see what Detective Joe has to say. And then we just leave. We just go to the chicken kitchen, right, chat? Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? That is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, guess we'll be seeing each other again. Dot dot dot. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, your lost memory. No things I'd like to know. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Return for tonight's fun little game, is that it? Out Sissel. I saw it, you know. The picture you're penning in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. Dot 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 dot. Very sorry, but I can't talk to you about that now. What? Why not? Because I I don't know your true face. Dun 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 My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I could give you one lead at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lim something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. There we go. Gasp. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. it. Might jog your memory. I'm assuming it's probably gonna have the meteor fragment that killed him in it. Presumably. That wooden box. I f what? Well, might not be the literal one that kills because I think it's still embedded in uh, Evil Sissel, I for lack of a better name, body. That wooden box I found in Lin's apartment. That's the only help I could give you right now. Cabanella. The man pointing the gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. We were when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit, the top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? <clears throat> For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? It was me. I'd go with the black coat that didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. Uh-oh. I think we know what his one mistake is that he doesn't want to have revealed. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he'd do anything. Anything at all hide in his coat's shadows. He'd send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Execution. Is your, execu is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still, this is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Dot, 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 dot. Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? Dot, 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 dot. I... I was sentenced to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? The other murder. It was 10 years ago. I'll never forget it. Oh, does he think he shot the guy in the park? Oh, that's a messed up way to die, right, chat? You're like, I killed this other guy. It was like, oops, all meteor. That day, I saved the life of a little girl, aka Lynn. And I stole away the life of a man. I don't believe this. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Did that little girl be... Lynn? Yes. She told you about that. Yeah, she said you were her, you were her hero. 
Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. What if he was the meteor? Damn truth. Oh, now we're... Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I still feel like we're gonna end up in this park very soon. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. remember asking myself at that time, Jode, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. My hand slipped. Yeah, interestingly, they won't show who the person was doing the kidnapping. Right, chat? See, this is how you can tell they're trying to set it up for the plot twist. I'm not falling for this, though. We know it's going to end up being the protagonist's body. <laughs> no matter what the game is trying to hide on the left side. My hand was shaking a little. My hand slipped. The man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. Like, that's not a gunshot sound, let's be real. <laughs> and the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. Eh, bye. Or Jana. Ready to go. My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what I'll do. Pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Sicily, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? Might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Everything's fine here? Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um... Chicken Kitchen's next door. Goodbye. Wow, got hung up on. Hmm. Sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. Murder number four, pretty much. What? Not following. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. There's nothing else like it. Don't throw it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say the same thing, actually. Alright, uh, who's inside, presumably? What's this? A pocket watch? During my situation. The last thing in the world I need right now. Oh, I thought it was a locket. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sizzle. Let me leave you with one thing. <laughs> I love that no character has, like, questioned, like, who's Sizzle, right, chat? Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. There we go. Nice little walk out there. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope. And no cores either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I better go find Lynn. Follow the path Detective Joe pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office, where Lynn went to try to stop the execution. Okay. 
right, let's continue playing. 11.41 p.m., Chapter 10. Now that my assignment to stop the execution has ended in an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lin at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Joe's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Did I tell Lin about it? I just don't know. Oh, Lin's not the one that died. It's the Justice Minister. This time, Lin isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. I mean, he did have a pill bottle on his desk earlier. Did he have a heart attack from all the stress? Glad Lin isn't dead. What in the world is she doing? And again, do I really want to know? No, not really. Let's just leave. <laughs> right, chat? Bye. That's your problem. Sucks to be you. I think Justice Man is dead. We saw his body on the floor. Alright, let's report in to Ray. Are you alright? You don't look very well. Ran into another dead body and it didn't even phase me. It didn't shock you? Nope, not a bit. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's something going on, right, chat? Like, the, the, the lamp slash presumably the dog definitely knows. All these deaths you've come across, you should be able to learn something from each one. Yeah, I guess. Such as, let's see, the importance of life, for example. I think that's quite it somehow. Well, I guess I better get better get back there. Oh, we got time. So presumably can't do anything here. Hmm. We'll skip ahead. We still haven't seen Missile at all, which is disappointing. Presumably Missile will come to us at some point. Ooh, Lady in Red's apartment. Let's go to hers. That's actually somewhat relevant to what we're doing. <laughs> Novelist story of love and the story of my memory, which will come to its conclusion first. Yeah, the daughter's been missing for a while. Looks like the little girl is still out. Like mother, like daughter, I guess. They both have their own ways. Where could the girl have gone to with such a high fever? How could the mother not notice her darling angel is missing? Oh, we're still not getting updates on the novel? Disappointed. Yeah, we still haven't found the man living in the park, too. I'm surprised we haven't done anything with him so far. Nothing new is here. Oh, the van is back. Hey, look at that. The detective is back. Kamala! Not knowing this situation, the scene would look pretty suspicious. So yeah, we are pretty much at the end of the game. But we have not revealed identities or figured out what's in the music box. Like, visually in the game. I'm pretty sure we could guess that it has to do with, uh... Meteor. Nothing's changed here. I wonder if this office is going to be raided at some point. We keep checking in on it, waiting for something. Check in on the prisoners real quick in this chapter. They're still dancing. He's never going to stop dancing. So we don't have any dialogue here. I'm just going to skip out of here then. Again, I'm just looking for bonus cutscenes. And I doubt anything changed in the basement, but who knows. Like how ominous that room is. Mashing so hard to get through the cutscenes. There we go. Guess this restaurant never sleeps. No, no matter when I come here, there's never any customers. Guess I better be on my way too. It feels like we should have been able to do something. Oh, they're gone. 
Ooh, that's interesting. So these two are gone now. I feel like we didn't really interact with them very much, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping we'd be able to listen in on what the master plan is. Do you know what I mean? Because we did try, it's just we can't go to the upper floor. Look in trouble. The, chi the chief is wiggly as itchy toes. The chief here. Or some working. There's an execution tonight. No, not my execution. What are you talking about? Honey, wait. Hmm, I guess his wife is radioing him. She called him on the phone. I could have gone and seen what she looked like. They like bringing that up. Moonlit courtyard. We'll go back there in a moment. Then we'll proceed with the plot. I have a feeling the title of this YouTube video is going to be I can't believe they did a stealth section or something or ugh, stealth, stealth in my puzzle game or something like that. It will definitely be in reference to the stealth section because that is truly horrendous. This is before the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. Just the chief with the wig, that's fair. It'll be like Psyche K. La la la, as long as I have chicken in you, and chicken I'm happy. That poor girl, she got a stomach ache from listening to my singing. I don't think that's how that works. She's very delicate, that girl. This the song didn't sit well with detective memories to judge the system. Guess I better go before I start getting stomach trouble too. What was his name, Nando? It'll be all the Nando characters. Nothing here, same as before. Nando, sorry. Guess I don't need to come back here anymore. Unless I ever feel the urge to see this moon again. Oh, I didn't even check up. I didn't realize you could scroll upwards in this one. Interesting. Anyway, let's go save the Justice Minister. I mean, he's dead. He's not going anywhere, so. <laughs> right, chat? There's no time thing here. That's just why it looks like a chicken, true. Alright, so, so let's, let's assume he was like, okay, so let's assume he couldn't open his pills. In order to take his pills, he needed water. So he was probably pouring it into a cup. What is all this? It's like a, is that his pill bottle? That went really, really far if that's his pill bottle. Oops, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna talk to Lynn first. Ah! What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, how did it go? Is Detective Joad still alive? He's already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad! Hunched over a monstrously strong ball crushing woman who's one third wine, true. Wait a minute, did you say but? told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About that other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Joad? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that whatever... That wherever I go, somebody's always dead. Either you or someone else. Sorry about that. Who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, it's pretending like we didn't check on, in on him like 20 times. Oh, you, you noticed him, did you? That's the Justice Minister. Then we signed the order to carry out Detective Joad's execution. He's already dead when I got here. Didn't you have called for help in that case? Hmm, I guess so. I'm wanted, remember? For murder? I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We, huh? Oh boy. Rip Justice Man. Now let's go see how he died. Presumably he wanted pills. Spilled his water. And his pills somehow went flying, so maybe we have to get his pills back to him? This could be complicated. Hey, can you hear me? Dot dot dot. Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. You rescue him now while he's still unconscious. Instead of talking to him, it'd be faster just to see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go then. See, isn't it interesting? So before they were alluding to, you know, oh, the first time you die, you're unconscious. But notice that when we save the other detective, 
he immediately was awake at that time. So we know there's something going on, right, chat? We know there we know the way the game has explained it is not going to end up true. Because otherwise Dode wouldn't be able to speak to us. So, so something something has not been explained in the blood, but we can make some guesses. I'm gonna rewind time. 11.31, four minutes before death. Yeah, there's this pill bottle on the right. There's the water on the left. Emma! Oh, excuse me. What? All right. I'll do as you say. This is terrible. Dot, 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 dot. Why didn't she answer? hunging chat oh actually chat i just double checked something real quick there's actually more chapters than i realized disregard the talk of 12 and 13 apparently there's 17 as he has this heart attack i wanted to double check that to get an idea of pacing yeah, it's gonna be a couple weeks that's fine then i mean i'm fine with the game being longer i want to see missile Wow, he's having like a full Phoenix Wright freak out. There's the water he can't reach. This is a super violent death. That's kind of messed up. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up? He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. We choose this, we can't have that. A man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too. He loses both. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. Welcome, Kirk. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. That's one way to take it, I guess. Or maybe I should say, a pathetic man. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Dot dot dot. Just call me a seeker of the truth. Sidestep that one, didn't he? Okay. I need to think too hard about this one. All I have to do is get his medicine to him. Pretty simple. There's one more thing that concerns me. What was that telephone call the Justice Minister got all about? Right after that, his health took an instant downturn. Tch! I've never seen such a foolish and pathetic and strange man. Uh... I think you better stop there. Hmm. So who called him? Ooh, there we go. I was wondering where she was. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. That makes sense. Who is this? Emily's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? Dot dot dot. No. Say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My daughter. Is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. 
Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! What do you want? What are your, what are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? Okay, that's about what I was thinking was happening. I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. You should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Ugh. Of course, it goes without saying. We're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. All right, I'll do as you say. Make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Hmm. Let's go there for plot, because presumably we have to stay there and help him. Let's get more plot. Race complete. This means we could come here in the future. Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! I hate you, Mama. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so the Justice Minister could hear her voice. Well, that's a nice little twist. But what's taking the good so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Oh, we can't go anywhere else in the room. Hoping to see more. Whoa, how long does this room go for? <laughs> right, chat? What was that? Uh-oh. This woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot. I can't use the telephone line either. Hmm. It's like I fell into a trap. All women are like traps. <laughs> Quite a statement. Some are sweet traps, others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay, anyway, I think I better rethink things here. Wow, that's that was certainly a thing we witnessed. Okay, so we, we got another phone line, which was optional. So somewhere to check in the future. Again, it really could have used the skip dialogue after you've already seen it. Right, chat? Really unfortunate you have to sit through this every time. Blah, blah. Yeah, we're gonna choose to stay here. I could choose go to go to the other place to also get more plot. Because the, the right answer is obviously staying with him to help him survive. But that was interesting that she set up the voice recordings. So I don't know if I would have guessed that immediately. Because she has been gone for a while, and technically one of her associates could have taken the girl. Because she was gone before the others left the restaurant. She was gone at like, I don't know, like 1040, I think, and they left closer to 1140. We kind of have a timeline going on. Okay. Kidnapping, huh? Once again, I'm not sure what the word means. Oh, come on. <laughs> Chat, come on. <laughs> but it's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. Better do something about that medicine. Uh, we're gonna wait for the other phone call. I'll call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. Mister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're just taking things too far. 
Wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm. Wife who doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now oh, I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. So we could flap the flag to get to the fan, but I don't know why we would need to do that yet. Chat, if only he could at least drink some of this water. Oh, chat, if only. Too bad he knocks this picture to the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Hmm. Why doesn't she answer? Blue Donna, not sure what's happening. There we go. So the only thing I could do is flap the flag. Maybe I have to do this when he goes for the water pitcher. He's having a super freak out. There we go. Uh oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? One lives his life in fits. He's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? There wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up. So he's... He's gonna go for the medicine, which I can't do anything about. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do with that. Let's go for the water pitcher. There we go. I used the flag to keep it close. Bought us some time, I think. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. Still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Oh. Hey? Okay. At least now I brought I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Yeah, his medicine was like way over to the right. I have no idea how to get that. Oh boy. So what do we do? Oh, I can examine the water pitcher. Have you seen anybody drink water the way this man just did? Water pitcher is completely empty. Hmm. He's an empty vessel of a man. Huh? An empty withered man. Where is his oasis? Guy's really starting to get on my nerves. Um... Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do. Let's see what he says here. Mistress' fate has been changed. The situation seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a patch just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Really? Th really? Okay, that sucks. You wanted me to zip that quickly? Are you being serious with me? I have to do that again? That is so dumb. So let me get this straight. They put a checkpoint here, but it checkpointed after the thing that I could do. So this checkpoint is pointless. That is, that is, that is a choice, Chad. I don't know about these checkpoints and these later puzzles. So for those that missed what the game is trying to tell me, it told me that one moment where he raises his arm to go drink 
I had to zip up to the fan, and that was my only opportunity. Unreal chat. Wait, now it skips the... Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that they knew how to skip the cutscenes with the phone calls and they just chose not to do it? Did you see how it skipped the phone calls? We didn't have to sit through that again. Ghost trick, please. So I have to do the same thing I did before. Yeah, I would dot 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 that for sure. There's nothing I could do here. I gotta wait. I don't think this puzzle is that bad. Oh, I did it too early. Oh, I did it too early. That sucks. I did it like literally like 0.2 seconds too early. That sucks. Anyway, game over. Annoying. Yeah, I know about getting it as medicine, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. Whereas now is it going to make me sit through the whole thing because I died? Oh, it's going to make me sit through the whole thing because I missed the timing. Wow, that just sucks. Oh, no, no, it's still skipped it. Good, good, good. Okay, I did it like slightly too early. The problem is like when you know what you need to do, you're just waiting for the game to give you the window of opportunity. Come on. I feel like the birthday one was also kind of finicky like that. You're gonna wait a little longer. It's, it's when it hits zero, I have to hit it, not when it's still at one. Yeah, I like pressed it like too early. Like I pressed it here. Now I should do it. See, because I didn't do this chat, this is where I got punished. Yeah. Literally, literally this is what it wanted me to do. That is so rude. Like, see how fast that was? I almost didn't do it in time again. <laughs> like, cut me a break, game. There, that should help. Okay, so now we fate changed. Hopefully it'll remember I should be up here now. Yeah, yeah, we were the wishy-washy man. Some of these time puzzles are kind of brutal. Okay, so now I'm on a document. I am so glad I paused time there. I literally almost missed it again. Now I'm at the medicine bottle. Okay, time for the next step. How about this medicine bottle? Mister's gonna make a full recovery. I did deliver this thing to him. How is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? Guess I'll just have to use my head then. I imagine we're gonna put this thing. So we could we could raise the arm, swing the sword, close the curtain. Uh. Make it salute, which gives me access to this. Do I turn this? Then rock it to knock it out? That was really loud. That iron's a lot heavier than it looks. It has some pretty thick iron. I don't want to drop that on my foot. I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. I don't know what that does for us, yes. So I can undo this. I just barely not reach it. Hmm. So I can do this and close the curtain. But I can't... Am I forming some kind of ramp? What am I do- what is my goal here? Okay, I am. Pretty light frame for its size. I'm sure a lot of things that could fall down in this room. He's a fallen man! Wow, this puzzle's definitely more involved. Huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know what fallen- I don't know about fallen man. You talk like- you talk about him like he's your fall guy the key is what order the objects are dropped in. Yeah. I, I mean, I definitely made a ramp. I just don't know if this is what I need to do. 
This is probably going to take me a couple tries, chat. I'm not sure what our goal is. Okay. And then I'm going to swing the sword, right? Okay. Hmm, it looks really good. If only the medicine bottle was under that swing. But it would go flying, but to the wrong side of the room. I'm starting to form a plan here. Uh... don't know what it wanted. Okay, so I did something wrong. Like, clearly I need to do something, but I don't know what. If I turn this globe thing, what, would it have fallen to the left? I think I need to restart. But I need to figure out what our goal is. So, this is over here. We got over here pretty easily, but what I'm supposed to do from here, I'm not sure. Let's restart. I better remember where I was supposed to be. So now we saw the things fall, but how can I do that in a way that's useful to solve this puzzle? Make sure we're here. So this is correct. The question is, what do we do? Don't make me go through this cutscene every time. Again, they really could have just skipped this, right, chat? Yeah, I know. I know, game. I know. I don't need to sit through that dialogue again. Um... So if I swing this, what does this do? There's the only thing I didn't see. Oh, it's like a little shy. I think it's pretty heavy. It's got a good swing to it. So if... The globe ends up on this sword. Maybe I can knock it to the left. <laughs> Blue Donna try to add one piece. Okay. So now I have to think, what do I do to do this? So I can choose when to knock these things down. So I'm not gonna... Okay, what if, what if I don't knock this down first? What does this do? So I think no matter what up here, this doesn't matter yet our goal. Hmm. So we can make the globe fall the other direction, which is what I think I do want to do. So this one should definitely be reversed. The question is, do I now knock it out or do I go for the other thing? Alright, so I'm thinking what has to happen. I probably need to knock this down. Let's see if this works. Oops. So we didn't get to see what happens when I do this. Oh, and this one's more centered. Oh. Turn is pretty light. Once an urn is dropped, there's no getting it back. It's better to think carefully when to drop it. Okay, so now I can create like a seesaw, but I still don't understand how this will help me yet. So... Oh, and I can still roll the globe. Oh. Hmm. I think this should work. 
Okay, so now... I can go to the other side. Oh, this is... Th this is complicated, Chad. Okay, I think I kind of get what it wants me to do. So I'm going to launch the globe onto the sword. So now I think I do this. What a way to get a medicine bottle. So we have to spin this or this, this will not go the right way. Because the other ball is too... So I think what stops us from doing the puzzle immediately is this ball is too small. So I think they thought the player would just try to drop the ball on this initially. But we need the globe, because we saw the globe will definitely touch the ground based off the other side. So now, I th think this is the solution. I hit this. It'll... There we go. That's what I wanted. Holy, there we go. What a... What a solution. <laughs> right, chat? My medicine! Ugh! <laughs> moon logic i mean that was that was certainly something that was a physics puzzle we got there though i don't think he's supposed to take that many pills there the minister finally took his medicine i think maybe he even took too much such a greedy man huh he's supposed to take two capsules with water why doesn't he know that oh, cut the guy some slack there see Fate averted. Phew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. He learned something from this experience. <laughs> Two later dies from an overdose, yeah, pretty much. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. There we go. So the Justice Minister is now back to life. The furrows on his brow are even deeper now. Apparently, our Lady Detective is the present cause of those furrows. Look, Detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial. The man himself wants to be executed. There's no evidence. All there was was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. Dot, dot, dot. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Huh? Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out tonight. No. When the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I'm simply performing my duty as the Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Trick time. Then looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I'll send her a little signal. We. Sissel, there you are. Sounds like the Minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we should have saved him after all. Mister has to have the execution carried out tonight. He has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn what I'd learned about the kidnapping. Kidnapping? They kidnapped the... The Justice Minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. still it's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution why don't you go ahead and say that to the justice minister then 
Mm, that poor man. Hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. You think you could carry me? All right, sure. Very handy, is it, having no legs? There we go. Trick time, chat. What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it. Oh, this? <laughs> pay no attention to this. Kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you talking to somebody just now? Oh, finally somebody asks, right, chat? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Oh! No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me. Hmm, so now I'm a dream, huh? We're gonna give him another heart attack, chat. Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? If the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Ugh! Ugh! Your medicine, medicine! There we go, chat. She, <laughs> there we go, she killed a man. Let's rewind time again. Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Emily. But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Ugh. Come on, Lynn. Keep pressing him like that. He's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Could we do that? It'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. You know, start by gathering info on the kidnapping. The only way I know how. Let's talk to him real quick. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. You're a dream. Please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream? Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Talk to her. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand is to carry on an execution that was already set to be carried out. Just like the minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm. You may be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no, there's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts. Not in this escape from prison. And not in this kidnapping. Hmm. This realist is running away from several very real facts. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Well, that's right. You have their telephone number. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. No. Go to the phone. Thank you. Alright, so now if we decide to go to the junkyard, do we have anything to say? Alright, chat. Here, here's the quick cutscene check. Are we getting a new one? Yes, no. We are. What's the matter, right? Taking a break? Huh, I'm embarrassed, embarrassed to admit this, but I'm apparently starting to lose my strength. What? Let me ask you one favor first, if you don't mind. There's a small creature who needs your powers. Uh-oh. Ah, you're talking about that little lady, aren't you? Holds a clue to, what, to that which you seek. I encourage you to lend her your strength. How do you know all this? You'll find out soon enough. Oh, yeah, definitely, Chad. Definitely something's going on with that. I know you can do it. Hurry along now. There's no time to waste. Okay, I'm going. Aw, oh, he's winding down, chat. No more wagging. Okay, still can't help Missile in the apartment. Go to Lady in Red. Does she even notice the daughter's gone still? like before. Let's see the little girl here anywhere. So does this mean she's really kidnapped? By the fact that her husband and daughter are in trouble, the novelist types passionately on. But I don't get it. How did the kidnappers get a hold of the little girl? Uh, 
I want more of the novel, but it's not giving it to us. Uh oh, Chad, it's 12.09 a.m. now. We've made it to a new day. Let's do a quick look around before we go to the killer's place. See if we get any updates. Nope. So far, nothing's happened at the supervisor's office either for a while. I feel like the antagonist is not going to like when he sees that other room at some point. If he sees the room, I guess. Maybe we could talk to Dode here? Because he should be back in his cell, right? Trick time. Go to the lower set of cells. Making progress, Jan. So, nope, we can't talk to Dode. Move forward, then. I'm trying to decide where to take a break, because I do have to do something closer to 1240. But it's, like, so early if I stop now. But at the same time, if we have a puzzle as long as that guard puzzle was, I don't know if I can finish it in time. That guard puzzle was terrible, Chad. We just all admit that that was a design mistake it should not have been in the game. Terrible. No checkpoints. Long waiting. Terrible. I'm sure it's impressive to see from a speedrunner standpoint. Getting the perfect cycle. Sadly, we were not that lucky. Trick time. Wow, we're not even getting extra cutscenes here. Interesting. Well, we're almost done with the places we could check. So we only had a couple extra cutscenes. Even the chef has nothing new to say. I'm mashing so hard, chat, to skip the cutscene there. There we go. I wonder if this will be relevant if we ever have to actually look up the moon for something. I guess for now we'll at least go to this place. Really should pay the kidnappers hideout a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. And I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Hmm. I mean, maybe Camilla is in the red trunk from earlier? It would explain why she took so long to get to the restaurant. Um, I'll go for it, I guess. Chapter 11, 12, 10 a.m. Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. Kidnappers demand execution of the death row prisoner Joe to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. So I'm paying the kidnapper's hideout a visit <laughs> to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. I like putting living things in suitcases, I've noticed, in this game. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. Ooh, we're in the original house. So we're in Detective Dode's house? Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Okay, so I'm thinking it's not going to be the daughter of the uh, Justice Department. I think it's going to be Camilla, because we haven't seen her in forever. She should have definitely reached the other place by now, and she hasn't been there. 
Yes, yes, always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? See, oh, there, see that beauty? Now oh, there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? Well, beauty, I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady, let me open that trunk for you. Uh oh, did he forget how to do it? Beauty. Oh, he fell asleep. Looks like Justice Minister's daughter has has been kidnapped. Something else is bothering me, too. Yeah, we're in the murder room from before. I don't think I've ever seen this, been to this room before. But something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. How would you forget a room like this? <laughs> All right, chat? Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, come on. Cut me a break on that one. Taking something precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those with the, without the powers of the dead come up with. However, take that precious thing back. Their power vanishes, doesn't it? Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister little girl is doing. Where this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. I guess you could say he's having beauty sleep. Point of opening this door. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Alright, so we're going to presumably burn the candle to set something off. Okay. Why do I need to swing this? Eh, I don't understand why we, we probably don't. Oh yes, I can swing this over here. Oh. I could spin this... Oh, do I spin it faster or just proceed? That's the question. Hmm. I might need to spin it faster to move the ball. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna send the ball flying. There we go, chat. There we go. Now we can come over here. Lower the shade to get further. I don't know what all this is about. I don't think I want to touch it though. Darn. Can't reach my destination from here. Oh, I, I didn't honestly understand why he said darn. Okay, so now I can reach the balance toy. There's a party popper to potentially wake the other guy up. Hmm. Can also... Oh, there's a... Hmm. Which party popper do I hit? You just have to hit both. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. Just my imagination. Oh no, he is a Metal Gear Solid guard. It's my imagination. That's all he has to say. 
way more laid back. You fall right off that crate. Look at the streamer go spinning round and round. How can I make use of that? I'm not sure yet. I might as well just pop the other one. Just my imagination. What was that noise? Hmm. It's my imagination. That's all I have to say. What an amazingly simple pillow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. Question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Okay. So, do I then spin the balance toy? Is that what I do? Uh... Oh, 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 what's this? What did that do? It's one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? Unless well, there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? Something could be lit, and it kind of makes me want to light it. Get another quarter to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I could create a new core. Okay. So I've tilted that, which I'm presuming will set off what used to be the gun in the corner at some point. Uh, get a good look here. And I, oh, I can't... Hmm. I thought I could maybe grab onto the... Or maybe... Oh, you know what? Maybe I still can. I think I see what it wants me to do. Maybe I have to light the thing that's swinging around. Set it on fire. Does it cross over this at some point? Well, it kind of does. It's like really, really close. It's like a little off. Alright, so maybe I have to turn the fan up? this would work because it'll blow the thing further out there we go now now we're going into the ultra convoluted here we go chat oh man that is uh whew, we figured that one out fireball i'm glad i could have been here a while had i not thought about burning that holy Alright, so what does that do for me? Like, what am I trying to light on fire other than the, the candle guns? But how do I do that? I'm gonna lower this back down. Can't do anything with the doll by itself, but maybe now I could do the balance toy? Maybe this is the right time to do it. Hmm. I imagine, I, this is the only thing I can think of. I imagine this will somehow light things on fire. Like, maybe it'll lift this so that the candle lights it on fire. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, we should, we really should realistically burn down the whole building with that one. Alright, there we go. I can finally get to the trunk and open it. Yeah, that's about who I thought was going to be in there. Just reading a book with a drink? What? What in the indeed? What's going on here? It's a little lady is. this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? Just my imagination. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. Wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? Like to s I'd like some bread and milk, please. 
your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. Oh, juice, perhaps. All you have to do is ask. Have I been... kidnapped? Oh, don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know. But we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Yeah, this is definitely her previous house. Hmm. This house is where I used to live. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party on her deal who chose this location. Oh. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? I, I don't know what the, what the bread and milk is all about. Oh, of course. Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home! Not quite yet. Now this dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. What's going on here? Trick time. No other comments. I don't have any other comments from the game. What in the world? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. That must mean... She must have died sometime after that. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, we are home now. It also means... Somebody else must have saved her. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> right, chat? I better ask what happened. Can I read the book? Oh, I can examine the book. Let's do that first. Book. I wonder what the little lady's reading tonight. An exciting adventure story, perhaps? Although she's already getting quite a bit of excitement for one day. Let's actually talk to her. Oh, yeah, I think we actually managed to finish the chapter before I had to go. What a miracle, chat. Given how long that security one took, that was a miracle. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? Oh, Missile saved her? I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla, so it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? Hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there's no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax. You're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? It's like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm. There's some other dead person out there with special powers, huh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, huh? Ahem. <clears throat> Kidnapping? Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. Never should have gone through that park. Oh, she's the one that gets ambushed in the park. Okay, Chad, I was saying, like, somebody at some point was going to go through that park. I refuse to believe we were not going back to that park. Like, I was, I, I was like, I'm waiting for it for, like, four chapters now. What? What do you mean, what park? Sissel, come on. Come on, we've been there, like, 20 times. We know what park she's talking about. Kesmic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, We don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Kesmic Park, huh? What am I gonna do? Lynn's gonna be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. Ask about... Amela, I guess. This is your old house? Yep. This is where we lived until five years ago. 
now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep. She's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is he the justice minister? <laughs> Swing and a miss, chat. Nothing but air. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, I would dot 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 that too. My father is gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die. And it's all because of me. What? What do you mean because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. Don't tell me your father is. Detective Jode. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream. But it wasn't a dream. Five years ago. That murder case. Let's wait on the incident five years ago. Let's ask about the music box. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know where. Oh, hmm. I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. But she can hear that thought. You know. You don't have to humor me. Oops. And what happened to the music box? Hid it in the bushes of the park just before it happened. Just before. Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. Yeah, let's ask about the incident five years ago. Yeah, he just kind of... I think he took too many blows to the head. <laughs> or maybe sharing his ghost mind space with others broke his brain. I'm not sure. Oh, it was mom's birthday. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was hers or potentially the fathers or the moms. I'm assuming it was supposed to be for not her. Just because I'm assuming she set up the contraption that killed the mother. So I couldn't tell if it was the mother or father's birthday. But I guess the mom makes sense. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. Yeah, he surprised her by getting her shot and killed. 10 out of 10. I set up that contraption. I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? The surprise blew her away, exactly. I love that she had, like, all the time in the world to react to this and still got shot, by the way. Are we sure she didn't want to die? <gasps> oh, look at that little string on fire! Better see where it goes! There we go. Mom! Mom! What was that noise? <laughs> yeah, I, I, think she, I think it was definitely her fault. I still can't believe it happened. I can't either. She had like seven seconds to move out of the way. This isn't exactly the fastest of deaths either. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm. I know that contraption. I don't know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I want to tell everybody it was my fault. Dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jode's daughter. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Oops. She can hear you, stupid. Now she's gonna ask. Why was I kidnapped? I wanna know. Yeah, we're we're kinda We're kinda on like a two out of ten, I was gonna say. How are we forgetting the bait? There's only so many rules of ghost world. One, she can hear you thinking. Oops, yeah, oops indeed. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Well, not if you keep thinking about them. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Stop thinking that! Sissy. Not gonna talk to me anymore? 
think we better get you out of here first. We could talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm gonna rescue you now. Just hold on a little longer, all right? She dot dot dots. Bring missile in here, he's much smarter than us, exactly. Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, sissy. New info has been added. Oh, we're not done with the chapter. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I still have some time to go through this. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. We couldn't meet at the restaurant. Weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes. And he's the one who chose this location. Hmm. I don't like this one bit. I have to run around doing all this extra work. All for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you. My sixth sense is very strong. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Somebody there. Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. Next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. All right, we're leaving. You heard it, chat. We should come back and get a bad ending. Oh, it didn't mean, little lady. Oop, in the trunk she goes. Oh, we left her book behind. What's she gonna read now in the dark that she already can't see in? Also, she definitely spilled her drink everywhere inside that box. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? Probably not. Well, unless Kemble had told her later. Maybe, maybe Kemble had mentioned already. One other thing stands out in my mind. It sends your presence. Some of the kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? I would assume so. It's likely she might have died at some point, and that's why she is the sixth sense. But anyway, chat, we're gonna we're gonna pause here. Let's chat a little bit. How dare someone or something steal a lady smile? Exactly, Dev G. So we are we're making some progress. So I thought the game was going to end in a couple chapters, but I, I double checked since I said it today. And I was like, you know what? I should double check that I wasn't just misremembering. And I misremembered. So we have 17 chapters. We just completed, I think, chapter 11. So we're going to go back to the park. We still haven't seen what their master plan is. And there is a very strong possibility Missile saved the little girl. So I think next time will be Missile's uh, big story chat. We might be able to finish next week. We'll see. Uh, but I'm not in a rush either way. I'm having fun with it so far. Minus that stealth section. That stealth section was garbage and should not have been in the game. That was terrible. <laughs> that was such a waste of time. That puzzle was like... Just waiting for those guards was longer than some of the other chapter puzzles in their entirety. I don't know what they were thinking with that. I think if I were to offer things of improvement for the game, you definitely need the ability to advance the hourglass if you're waiting for a specific event to basically like fast forward. You definitely should have been able to save in one of the previous chapters where you make a choice. The choice itself should have been like a mini save point so you could just quickly go back and see what you need to do. But uh, we're, we're making there. How many hours in are we? I haven't been counting, but we're, we're more than halfway through the game. We, we passed the halfway point, I think, technically at the start of the session. So we're, we still got a decent, like, six to eight to go, I think, depending on how long the story is. So there's a possibility it might extend into a third session.
but yeah i just i don't know i don't know what they were thinking with that cell section that was definitely the worst one i was thinking the uh timing the van kind of one where you have to go all the way through was kind of one of the weaker ones but no this one was much much worse no contest it was terrible but anyway, chat, I think that's all I can do for today. Sadly, I have some plans in about 10 minutes and does not make sense to start a chapter, just to pause it immediately. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching and hope to see you again, possibly with Missile in the next part.